hello guys welcome back to my channel words designs so today in this video i'm gonna be showing you to make a streaming a stream package on android like this uh, or you can call it a stream starting screen and there are not much elements used but uh, it's just a single overlay and a font and uh, some gradients so i will mention the font name in the video itself and i will provide that element that i use in the pack so make sure to download that so at first you have to open PSCC and create a blank document of the thumbnail size you make that is 1080p 1920p 1080p resolution and uh, after that you have to give it a background color first so uh, uh, if you want you can uh, first add your what uh, your text and then add your background color uh, and it's up to you so first i added my text so after that i added my background and that is a gradient a black gradient so i created one and my bscc has a glitch uh, it does not, uh, doesn't save gradients it automatically removes it from the list uh, it does not remove actually but i uh, I won't be able to see where it is placed. That is the problem. In problem. So after that, uh, after applying the gradient, you have to resize the text as you want. I am just uh, placing it on the center. The main, uh, the secondary text that is stream is star uh, starting is the main text and the stream is text is secondary text. I will be only showing the GFX part in this video and the part 2 will be coming soon and that is the animation part and you have to uh, download allied motion for that. So after that I gave a red gradient to the secondary text and after that I gave a uh, silver color gradient to the my main text that is the starting text a silver color gradient. like this so after adding the perfect gradient just uh, re replace uh, not replace just reposition like this So now it's perfect. Okay, then click on the tick option and create an empty layer filled with a white color. Now clear the uh, clear the clear layer like this and add add a Gaussian blur. After that, select the opacity of the main text and just uh, extract it from the white layer and linear it. Now you will get an inner glow and most of uh, who the uh, most of the people who know the basics of bscc will know to add inner glow but in ibis paint it will be much easier uh, there is an option in fx tab called as the uh, inner glow option so it will be much easier for you if you are using ibis paint but most of the people are still in uh, pixel art that is why i am sorry uh, still in bscc so that is why i am creating a tutorial on bscc only and after that you have to uh, create a shape like this not uh, the tilted one uh, after that i actually i'll actually cut the slanting edges off so and uh, place it below the uh, place it below the secondary text that is stream is text and cut off the extra edges off now it's perfect okay now resize it if you want and give it a slight bevel effect not a bulging one and it should not uh, it should not be what over uh, over uh, bulged and it should be very slight uh, bevel effect and not a, a bulgy one after that just resize it and place it on center like this not on the side I am 
placing it in the center like this so after that place place the text in the center and click ok so after that create a selection like this a small select and give it a red gradient like this or the gradient of your choice that is your theme gradient and after that uh, place it right place it will just below the main text so after that uh, add your uh, social media handles also i am adding my instagram behance and youtube handles so i will just uh, fast forward it so all of you know these these are all basic things so i am not wasting your time so after you add it just resize it and place it just like this you will get the basic idea no uh, i don't have to explain it because i have explained it in various other videos so after that you have to give a glow to the second main text layer by adding linear dodge and by duplicating it linear dodging it and gaussian blur and reduce the opacity now we will get a slight glow after that create an empty layer place it below the layer, main layer main text layer and give it a slight stroke select the opacity and give it a slight stroke on the empty layer not on the text layer after that resize it rotate it to 90 degree uh, after resizing it rotate it to 90 degree and place it like this at the edge not at the edge at the lateral sides and duplicate it, duplicate it and transform and flip it on the other side also now give it a slight fade like this and reduce operation after that uh, uh, all the basic things are ready now we have to add an overlay and I will provide it in the pack just before adding it you have to create a selection like this and on an empty layer and give it a gradient of the of your own choice after that create a selection like this go to transform and uh, trim the edges like this trim both of the edges and like this perfectly and give it a slight bevel after that after giving it a bevel uh, you have to add the add the overlay that i provided in the pack this overlay is actually taken from my notes discord server you can check his server out you can add various other elements like this on a server and you you can join my server also i will provide you with uh, the such gfx elements for your works so you can check my server also uh, the link will be in my instagram bio and it will help you out for your gfx related needs after adding you have to reduce opacity and place it like this on both of the sides after that you have to import your uh, import a text uh, you can it can be anything your channel name your slogan anything and you, have, you can place it on selection place it on top of the selection that we have made the red one and change uh, size and place it like this after that give it a bevel slide bevel not a bulgy one like a tool and resize it and place it like this so most of your work is done completely done and we just have to save it uh, as different elements and so that's it and you can just save it 
to your gallery save it to your gallery as a jpg and but if you want to animate it you have to save it separately all the elements separately uh, to your gallery so the animation part i will show you in the next video and one more thing i am extremely sorry uh, because the video is too late because my phone was damaged and i got it just two days before uh, and i'm extremely sorry for that uh, and i'll come back with regular videos and uh, stay tuned so uh make sure to download the element in the pack and i'll see you in the next one bye